I conducted laboratory testing on the water drop King Tank gravity fed water filter to evaluate its performance. I wanted to see how well the system dealt with common contaminants found in city water. Is it a good choice for daily use? Stay tuned to find out. As you look at the data, please keep in mind that these were just two real life tests and the results are neither comprehensive nor conclusive. Before conducting the test, we ran 100 gallons of water through the system to ensure the filters were already well used. And for accurate test results, we followed sampling guidance provided by the lab. We filled a large bucket with the water sample, swirled it around to make sure it was mixed, and then collected the pre-filtration sample directly from the bucket. Then the post-filtration sample was taken from the king tank itself. And I didn't test the system with surface water like river or lake water because the instruction manual explicitly states that it should not be used to filter water that might be microbiologically unsafe unless it's been adequately disinfected first. We'll discuss the data using the health guideline level benchmark, which prioritizes human health and is stricter than the federal MCL standard. The King Tank performed extremely well in addressing aluminum, chloroform, fluoride, lead, manganese, and total THMs, which were all 100% removed. Additionally, barium was reduced by 40%, chloride by 7%, copper by 93%, and sulfate by 28%. And there were a few substances that actually increased post-filtration. But before I get into that, give this video a like and let me know in the comment section what other water filters you'd like to see us test in the future. And make sure you're subscribed so you get a notification the next time we upload a video. So interestingly, calcium increased by 78%, magnesium by 82%, sodium by almost 3%, strontium by 22%, and potassium appeared where it was absent in the pre-filtration test. However, the good news is that none of these are above the health guideline level, and most don't actually pose any risk to human health. So we actually tested four stainless steel gravity-fed water filter systems at the same time with the same sample. And in all four tests, there was a similar increase in these substances. The initial 100 gallons of water that we used to prime the filters for the test contained elevated levels of a handful of ions, which then came out in the filtered water. And after speaking with the chemists at the lab, we determined that this effect is likely temporary and we do not suspect an issue with the filters. Naturally, additional testing is required to confirm this hypothesis. The Water Drop King Tank did a great job Job eliminating metals, disinfection byproducts, and fluoride. And the discrepancy of the increased ions is not an issue specific to this water drop system, as we saw similar data for all four of the systems that we tested. If you're looking for a large, non-plastic, gravity-fed water filter for use with city water, then the King Tank is a solid option to consider. If you want to test your own water or purchase this water drop system, you can find links to each down in the description. And if you liked this one, make sure to watch one of our other gravity-fed water filter test videos. Click or tap the screen to keep watching.